Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to talk about the F distribution. It's the only F word you are allowed to use. It's also known as the variance ratio distribution. Continuous prop. It is a continuous probability distribution, and it has quite a few uses. It's used for testing the quality of two population variants, and it's used to find the validity of a multi-regression equation. Find the equation of F as given in the video. Chi one squared is equal to n one by n two F u. No insults intended there. J is equal to partial differentiation of uh, chi squared with respect to df. These are put in a matrix and simplified as follows: where partial differentiation of x two square is zero and x two square with respect to du is one. This becomes very simple to find the determinant, which you can do by multiplying the diagonals with respect and one, which contain one and the next value, and skip out the zero and the other value. To simplify the equation, joint PDF of f and u is g of f comma u, g of f comma u, which is equal to f of x one square comma x two square, and this equation is expanded as follows. So g of f of u is equal to e to the power minus u by two into n one f by n two plus one into n one by n two to the power n by one into f of f to the power n one by n two minus one. On completion of the equation. We find that f of f is equal to integration zero to infinity g of f comma u respect to d, which is equal to integration of zero to infinity e to the power minus q by two into n one f by n two plus one into n one by n two to the power n one by two f of n one by two minus one u to the power n one plus n two by two minus one and The denominators with respect to d. Now, obviously, this being so easy to integrate, we remove the constants out and then find a simpler integration, which is e to the power minus u by two. Okay, it's still big. Don't be intimidated. Finally, we get the following solution: n1 by n2 to the power n1 by 2, f to the power n1 by 2 minus 1, divided by root of n1 by 2, the root of n2 by 2, to the power 2 to the power n1 plus n2 by 2, and the differentiation part of it, which obviously was quite easy, integration part of it. Sorry, not the differentiation part of it. You know, if you ever date a statistician, don't ever be a significant part of her life. She will straightforward reject you. Zero f is in between zero to infinity. Obviously, this is the PDF of a uh, distribution. With n1 comma n2 d of f. Now the mean is mu1, which is equal to the following n1 n2 by n2 minus 2, where n2 is greater than 2. Obviously, if it is equal to 2, mean would be division or division by zero error in the programming terms. And variance and mode can be found out as following. To lay out a few properties of F distribution, F distribution takes only positive values, and oh yeah, obviously F distribution also ranges between zero and infinity. 
it is skewed towards the right. Oh yeah, and it approaches the normal definition. When uh, N1 and N2 nears infinity. And N1 and N2s are obviously the degrees of freedoms of If W is similar to F M comma N, then one by W is similar to F N comma M. So finally we get F as the following equation. Thank you.